Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arm with the Stock Swish and reviewing here the market. Uh, we are waiting on the Fed decision, which is in about 40 minutes, less than that. The market's going to wait all day until that happens. It's going to happen pretty soon here. We'll know what they do. But I want to go back to one of the reasons why trading options is advantageous is you can capture an overnight move in the stock or the market with limited risk, meaning that if the trade doesn't work and it goes against you overnight, you will only lose what you have at risk. One contract, 10 contracts, whatever the amount of money is that you have at risk versus doing swing trades where you have essentially unlimited risk. Uh, so I called, beautiful call on Thursday here the night, the 409 spy puts that expire on the 17th which you could still be in them. They're up so much, you could still be in them. And I just wanna show you here the gap down that we had Monday where we opened, it was 379. This was almost $30 in the money on the open and then dropped down to 373. Uh, just a crazy, crazy, crazy move, one, two, three, uh, from that call. And I've called other calls here from Thursday to, to, to Friday. But this just really shows you how you couldn't have screwed this up. You did the trade, you were up into the close Thursday, you were up more, even more on Friday morning, and you were up a huge amount then Monday morning and any time to get up Monday. And actually, you could still be in that trade, you'd still be up in the trade even here now. Although taking a trade that you're up so much in, several hundred percent return investment and holding it through something like a rate decision, I don't think that's a good decision in my, in my mind. So you have to learn to take profits. But again, getting back to the point of this video today is it's very advantageous to capture overnight moves when the move goes in your direction. So we did spy puts and the market fell. Again, it fell through the strike. The strike was 409, okay? It fell immediately the day that I called it, down almost to 400. 401 and change was a low. Follow through here, really big, broke 400. And again here, even more. So will you always get a perfect, perfect exit in every trade? No. I think that everybody should have been out of this, like I said, within either Monday or Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. If you're still in it, you're up. This could go even further. Today's only Wednesday. It doesn't expire Friday. Again, the idea is to make money. Do good. Make money. Do as good as you can. If this continues, will I regret having gotten out of it? No. It was a fabulous trade. And, and chances are we'll do new trades. What they will be calls or puts, I don't know. I don't know. I never know that I get up in the morning, I see the gap. We didn't do anything new today because it doesn't make sense going into the rate decision. But the market did gap up today. Did gap up today, was green at one point, tried to lift, we'll see if the buy the dippers are gonna come in here. But my point in today's video is that it is very advantageous to do options because you can capture overnight moves and some of those moves can be big and huge. People always ask me, how do you make more than 100% in something? Because you're in it, you're in the trade. You're in the trade and it gaps in your favor, whether bullish gap up or a bearish gap down, it gaps in your favor, you're already in it, and it gaps in your favor overnight. You're in the trade because you took it, because you're on the newsletter that I offer that people can sign up for at $69.99 a year. You took the trade when I called it, you got in the trade and you went to bed and the market closed at four and then you got up the next day and it moved in your favor huge. That's it. That's how you're going to make more than 100% return on investment. And it will happen because it does happen because of the way that I uh, call trades so, so well and so accurately. So uh, it's one of these things where you kind of have to make a decision whether or not you want to day trade or do options with me. A lot of people want to do both. I like doing both, but if you don't want to do both and you can only do one, work with whatever goes with your schedule or the size of your account. So if you have questions, email me at melissaatthestockswish.com. If you're interested in the Gap Options newsletter, email me at melissaatthestockswish.com. If you're interested in learning my Gap rating system and method, email me at melissaatthestockswish.com. The next class for June is June 25th and 26th. Don't miss it. It's the, it's the last class before earnings season begins in July, and that's when you want to learn and trade and make money. So if you have questions, feel free to email me, and we'll see what the rate decision is in 34 minutes. Have a good day, everyone.